This is to show the basics of the program Auto Catalog. It's written for AutoCAD 2016, but will work with 2015 as well. To start the program, ACAT is the command that's used, and your dialog pops up. The dialog consists of two main areas, a tree view above, and item list or a grid below. The tree view contains catalogs and tabs. The concept is that just like you would if you're sitting in your design environment, you might pull a catalog and look for a product you'll use on a project. And the catalogs are organized as the vendor sees fit. These catalogs are organized as you see fit. And just like catalogs, each one can have any number of tabs within it. And the tabs can even have tabs. So you can organize your content the way you want it. These structures here in the tree view don't have to represent any particular file structure. And these items can all be from different places on your server or your local machine, but still be stored in one convenient location based on what you think is relevant. The item list down below is laid out in a grid. So each item, um, as I mentioned, can be located wherever you'd like it to be. If you don't like the layout um, with the tree view above and the items below, you can simply change that in the settings dialog and have a side-by-side -side view with the tree view on the left and the items on the right. If you would prefer to have the text a little bit bigger, the tree view text as well as the link text for the items can be adjusted also in the settings dialog. So the grid link label, which are these here, can be adjusted by selecting that and then choosing the size of font that you want. And you notice that the sample text changes in the settings dialog. Same with the browser. If you wanted to change the font of that, you could do the same thing. When you click OK, you notice that the text size is larger. This makes it convenient and easy to uh, read based on your screen resolution. That's it for the basics.